Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk about designing your page uh, as far as like for drawing and art and stuff like that in, in your sketchbook. Uh, it's going to be, you know, some newbie advice. So if you're brand new, absolutely stick around. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're interested, stick around to the end and I'll talk to you. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, that's funny. Oh yeah, while I'm doing this, I, I am going to draw on this page and that's just so you're not looking at like a blank page as I'm talking to you. Um, so, so one thing I noticed, uh, I started doing, um, this is going to be for Halloween. If you can't guess, it's kind of too late for that, but that's like a dinosaur pumpkin thing. Uh, I remember when I first started drawing, right? When I first started learning art, uh, I, all we did was, uh, life drawing. Life drawing is where you draw like a nude model and stuff like that. And that was, that was great. It teaches you a lot about just, you know, just kind of learning the body, the figure, uh, you know, anatomy, but I remember the issue that school that I was at had was that nobody was learning how to draw, you know, like clothing, you know, like the other stuff. People were obsessed with life drawing and still, still drawing. But as far as like illustration goes and robots and, uh, you know, dinosaurs and animals, there was very little to zero of that. It was 95% just learning to basically draw the figure, which again is incredibly valuable. Um, but one thing they, I, I noticed when I went to Art Center that Art Center had big on that school, this other school, was Art Center knew, was teaching uh, design primarily. So what is design, right? So I would say like, there, it can mean many different things, right? Graphic design could be, but in short, it's composing your page and presenting your work in a kind of a really neat way. As far as drawing goes, um, design could be the design of this character but I'm talking about design as in like composing the image, composing the page. So I'm putting this shadow back here, this black block, that's to present this sketch and this character uh, in a nicer way. And you're gonna look at that character in, in, a, in a nicer way, generally, hopefully, um, by doing that. Uh, if I didn't have that block back there, it would just be like a straight drawing, line drawing, which is fine. Uh, but you wanna, you can throw other elements in it to kind of, um, how do you say this? Like I said, present it better. It's like putting uh, food on a plate. I can't remember who I was talking to and I'm gonna butcher this right now, but I was talking to somebody and they were like, uh, I'm sure somebody in the comments is gonna know all about this and <laughs> I didn't research it first, but the way you present food on a plate is a huge, huge deal if you're like a chef. It's like a huge deal, how you present it and how you set it up, how you compose that. Um, and I remember he gave me this, but I can't, it was like a, somebody I knew, I only met him like a couple times. I can't remember who it was, but he gave me this big spiel and I'm like, wow, this is, you know, another art form. And it's, it's kind of amazing how similar it is to our art form. So this is kind of like the meal you're presenting on a page. It's not just the drawing. You want to present it in like a cool way. Do you want to throw a large shadow behind it? I see people throw like maybe um, a jaggedy figure or something behind that. Another dinosaur that's like set back. Um, and I'm talking about like mostly again, only as far as like designing the page goes, but you want to, and even like looking through your books, uh, that's why I've noticed when graphic designers become, uh, artists, like full blown, like draw more, more of a, like a graphic designer is an artist, but becoming more of like drawing aspect of it. They, they're so good at it because they know how to put their stuff in a cool light, even though the drawings are about the same level. I remember I used to see that when people presented their work drawings were about the same level but somebody put like a block like that or put some cool element in the background you know to present this character and it would just kind of make everything so much better like it would just make it so 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 much better it was it was, it was amazing how that would be and it, it was really no no difference to it once you looked at the figure itself um and they never really taught us that they never taught us that uh in my original art school um and i, I could see that kind of plaguing uh people as they moved on in their careers because you kind of need to be able to present stuff uh, nicely. Um, again, this is more like a ramble, I guess, than anything else. But start being aware of the design of either how you're presenting your drawings or uh, even your figure, even your figures, I guess we'll go to that. Even like how you design certain characters, make sure they're not too stiff, not too flat. 
um, you know, bring your flair to it. But uh, that's that's mostly the biggest point of this. Um, I can give you uh, an, another background on that. Um, I think when you when like so, I'm aiming this at beginners. So when you're drawing and you're learning art, and I think you're trying to, as a beginner, design stuff too early. Like it's great to add stuff, and it can it can help a lot. Um, but this is like the flip side, by the way, of the other thing. But um, don't use design as a crutch too much. Um, I see some, and I'll give you another example of this. Uh, I know a friend who wants to become a comic artist, um, but his basics are terrible. His basics basics are awful. But he's got like this kind of flary uh, design element to his drawings and the way he does his shadow patterns that could fool somebody who was you know com like didn't know how to draw. Um, but if you did know how to draw even a little bit, you'd be like, ew, that looks kind of gross, you know? <laughs> he just skipped all the basics and went straight into design. Um, so there is, there is a limit at which it won't work. It won't work on certain things, um, especially when you have to draw something uh, still to an adequate level. Uh, you could probably do, uh, you could probably play with values uh, actually, let me let me talk really quick about this. Sorry, I'm not talking about at all about the. I'm trying to make these like around eight minutes. I don't want to make these too long. These these little advice videos. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, so the drawing right here. Uh, I'll talk about the drawing real quick. I'll change gears. Uh, the drawing right here was like I said for Halloween. Uh, I wanted to do something. I did the other one for Halloween as well in my last video. Go check that out if you haven't. I did like a Triceratops standing on a bunch of um, jack lanterns. I, I love dinosaurs and I love Halloween, so I was like, man, I gotta do something with both. I was gonna do a big series of these, but I just never got to. And it's kind of late, honestly. It's kind of boring and lame to work on Halloween stuff when Halloween's over. I, I don't mean like in December, but I mean when Halloween has just finished, like a week ago, then I'm like, eh, it feels kind of, eh, it doesn't feel right. Working on Halloween stuff. I just started using this thing, by the way. This is the... Uh, the pilot, what is it called? The high tech C. These things are amazing. I my god, this is like the best sketching pen ever. I, I'm not even getting paid for that, but find it. I'll, I'll put a link to the description if I find the link. I, I don't know if I have a link to this because I had to buy it off some weird uh, Chinese website. But I couldn't find a, an American store that sold it. I'm sure there are, but if you if you know where, link me online somewhere because I want. I'm gonna get more of these for sure. Uh, but anyways, but that was kind of it. I was thinking of like a stegosaurus in this kind of fashion. Uh, that was that was kind of it. Just a short tip video. Uh, if you can relate in any way, let me know. If you have any experience with kind of designing elements on your page, or you see someone, like if you ever look at an art book or uh, somebody's sketchbook that looks like an art book, you're like, wow, this looks like somebody designed this whole thing, and someone did, right? Uh, the original artist. I gotta put a bigger shadow down here. Anyways, that is it. Thank you so much. Uh, like I said, definitely subscribe if you do like this kind of uh, these little rambles, these little advice videos. Uh, if these help you in any way, if my stuff is worth your time in any way, if you get enjoy that of watching me draw, any of that stuff, definitely subscribe. Uh, you know, it'll let you know when I post. I'm post. I'm posting very haphazardly right now. Uh, and if you do want to support the channel in any way, uh, please share the video. It's very similar to like tipping your waiter or something of that sort, except this one takes no money whatsoever. Uh, it just takes, I guess, a few seconds, right, to share. I don't know how long it takes to share. I guess there's a, there's a share button on YouTube. Um, and every time you do that, I, I can tell somebody shared it. Like, I can tell, like, it looks, like, I get, like, this big boost of positivity on the channel all of a sudden. And, like, the comments are, like, like a bunch of new people. I'm like, hey, what's up, you know? And, you know, one of the things that keeps me sane through editing videos on YouTube is, because I, I love drawing, but the editing is the worst part about it. One of the things that keeps me sane is talking to people on, on the comment section. So I'll reply to every comment, uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later on, and I'll see you next time. So it's been easy things to draw. I'll talk to you soon.